Hi folks, this is Quan again and the Jewel Thief. So, my Jewel Thief again here. Uh, yeah. I have just made a little change here. Changed this uh, capacitor to a, a 280 volt, 0 0.22 microfarad capacitor. And, uh, I've added a pickup coil to show uh, the magnetic flux um, of this dual thief tor toroid and I'm going to show you today also the dual thief running over my uh, little rodent this is a rodent coil a bifilar coil you've seen perhaps you've seen this one in my previous video uh, so it ha it doesn't have so much turns you can see here, uh, but it's also uh, wound on a ferret ring core like this one here. So all right, and I just take my pickup uh, coil here and. Uh, let it run over another bridge rectifier and this meter here shows uh, the volt on my pickup yeah, and the scope again so first I'm gonna show you some interesting stuff well with this tuning I get 177 volts you can see here, actually without any load, uh, after my bridge rectifier I can measure 2.14 volts from this coil. When I put it on top, you will see it's around 0.94. Put it on the side you're lifting it up a little now watch this I'm gonna put it into I get 5.8 volts I can measure here uh, yeah. signal on the scope from the dual thief itself so let's try to put it this way see what we can get okay oh, looks nice 9 volts see it's inside here oh. not bad In my cap here I have a charge of 179 and this just measures 6.99 so now I'm going to add the capacitor to this side to stabilize uh, the DC I'm getting here to show some charge ok I added the uh, 2000 volt capacitor here to my pickup core just to stabilize uh, the DC pulses coming from the dual thief well you can see now this one is at a 90 degree angle to the wires on this uh, pickup coil uh, nothing is charged everything is off, now I'm going to turn it on And we get on the dual thief output 178 volts. And here we have uh, capacitor charging now to 9.5 volts right now. So not much juice is going into. Uh, 
voltage capacitor here because it only has 0 0.01 uh, microfarads but the voltage now is above 10 volts uh, my dual sleeve output here and well you can't hear the, the sound of uh, the dual sleeve because it's quite I can hear it. Just a uh, little noisy sound. Well, now it's stabilized at uh, 10.7. Okay, it's climbing again. Well, not bad. So, you can also get uh another voltage from the magnetic field on the toroid so let's test the rodent coil well i bet this one is much louder because actually you can use this one also as a speaker all right let's try it out now I've hooked up the rodin, my little rodin here, uh, as the dual thief poroid. Uh, my pickup coil again, uh, the yeah, same setup. Let's hook it up. Well, I say now you can hear the sound of the the rodin. This is very loud. I get uh, at the same uh, setup, just uh, changed with uh, the coil. Uh, now put here, nice and stable, 205 volts on my capacitor here, and actually 1.75 volts on this capacitor from this coil here. Well, you can see the the distance here, but it's actually catching 1.74 volts. Well, when I put it on top here, I get 10.4 volts. That is a real strong magnetic field interacting here from the rodent coil used as a jewel thief. Well, same output here. Now I have 11 volts on my cap. So, yeah, not bad. Just a little noisy. Let's change a little bit the frequency. You will see. Uh, wait a sec. So. I can adjust the frequency here and you see there are changes from the output just slightly little changes uh, on my dual thief output and on the pickup coil output well now I get the uh, nice output one hundred eighty volts and seventeen volts that's not bad here's the sound Damn, it's loud. Hmm. 
and signal now. Well, perhaps you've noticed that uh, when I adjust the frequency on my 1k part here, uh, one will, one voltage will rise up and the other will slightly go down. So, I just split uh, the two voltages. Now I have, uh, what do you say? Let's go to, to nice. Uh, trying to get 12 volts on one side. Yeah. Slightly adjustments here, just slightly adjustments. Okay, uh, 206 volts, 2 series output, and also uh, 12 volts from the pickup on my little rodent. Well, all everything is cool. What's about the transistor? Uh, just a little about room temperature. Okay, the pot is a little warm, slightly warmer than the transistor. Touching anything here, especially the transistor, will also uh, have influence on the frequency. So, yeah. Also, uh, perhaps you know this. Um, strong magnetic fields will also have uh, influence on electromagnetic f frequency fields. So here, I take my bit magnet, and okay, you can see here when I turn this magnet, it has influence on my rotor, and damn, it's uh, it's uh, very fast away, uh, far away here. So satellite method. <laughs> okay, just put it on top here. Maybe you can hear the change in the frequency. What happens now? Freaking, freaking around here. Uh, do you hear that? Slightly moving the magnet. A rodent on a ferret ring core gives a nice, juicy thyroid. Let's try a bigger one. <laughs>